subscribe to tech droids turn on notifications and join the squad for more videos on pc builds smartphones and all things technology so if you're a tech head this is the right place for you hey what's up guys this is yusuf shah from tech droids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today we are comparing the gtx 1050 from nvidia to the rx 560 from amd so both these graphics cards are similarly priced and they also tend to offer the same kind of performance and at least they promise to offer the same kind of performance that is 1080p 60fps gaming so in this video we're going to find out the specifications and also give you some real benchmarks with a moderately specced gaming pc and towards the end of the video we're going to decide which is better and for what so with that being said, let's get started. So starting off with the EVGA GeForce GDX 1050, it comes with 2GB of GDDR5 memory, also has 640 CUDA cores so it can help in Adobe Premiere Pro rendering, takes only 75 watts of power and has no external power requirement so it can work only off of your motherboard, comes clocked to 1354 on the base and 1468 on the boost so it is factory overclocked and works on 128 bit memory interface, has 1 HDMI, 1 DVI and 1 DisplayPort and retails for only $110. Moving on to the RX 560, the Sapphire RX 560 I should say, it is available in both 2 and 4 GB flavors but today in this video we are using the 4 GB variant to keep it more practical and real and also similarly priced. It comes with 4 GB of GDDR5 memory and has 1024 stream processors. It works on 128 bit memory interface and takes 80 watts of power. Comes clocked at 1175 on the base and 1300 on the boost. Has one HDMI, one DVI, and one Display Port. The HDMI ports in these graphics cards can uh, support up to 4K 60Hz, and the Display Ports can support up to 8K 60Hz. So now let's move on to the benchmarks. So after the benchmarks we can come to a conclusion that the AMD card is well optimized and better optimized for Vulkan games and newer games. Whereas the GTX 1050 is a classic and it's a typical card so it works well for DirectX 12 and Vulkan as well. Now it depends upon your personal preference on what you want and which company you prefer the most because both these cards perform really well and none of them is bad at anything. Both of them will do good at gaming, whereas the AMD would support new games well and the GTX 1050 will do well in DirectX 12 titles. Now, you can see in some titles such as you know, Hitman or Rise of the Tomb Raider, the AMD card does slightly well. And that's because they are based on Vulkan and the Nvidia card does well overall and does struggle in some titles as well. None of these cards are die-hard gaming cards, they are just entry level for 1080p 60fps gaming and at the end of the day it comes down to your personal preference and what you're looking for. And if you're a content creator then go for the Nvidia version and if you're just looking for raw gaming performance then you can go either way, the game, Nvidia or AMD. But if you're to ask my opinion I'd say the Nvidia GDX 1050 is a better card at the end of the day. But if you have a different preference and if you just like AMD for some reason then go with them. Both the cards will be linked in the description down below to Amazon US and those are affiliate links so if you want to help the channel out and help me make more videos then buy from those links. And thanks a lot for watching, give this video a massive thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.